Hey guys, welcome back to Coastal Kitten Care. I'm Liv, and if you're new to this channel, I'm a teen who has a passion for rescuing kittens, but specifically orphan kittens. So, <laughs> I'm really excited because I'm about to leave to go get more foster kittens. I believe I'm getting four ringworm kittens, so they, they kind of have a backstory. So, um, they came in with their feral mom, and they're six weeks old, but they're old enough to be separated from their mom, and they did test... They did have tested positive for ringworm, but then they got another test today that came back negative for ringworm. So then they have to get one more negative test back like in a row to be considered cleared for ringworm. So we have to be like, extra careful. So I'm gonna go to the store first and just pick up some things for them, like some litter pans I can just throw away, some gloves and just stuff to protect myself from the ringworm. Plus maybe it's just a few more toys for them just to make them feel at home. So let's go. All right guys, so I'm sitting in the car with my little brother why my mom is in there getting the kittens. So I am just waiting. I'll let you guys know whenever we get them. So um, uh, my mom is at the or in Walgreens right now getting gloves because they said to handle them with gloves since they like tested, since they have ringworm and they haven't gotten back. They're starting to get retested in two weeks and if that um, test comes back negative as well, then they will be ringworm free. But for now, they tested negative for one test, but then they test again to become completely negative for ringworm. This is the like, sheet they gave to us. Um, if you want to pause this and read it all, you may, but this is it. So just pause it right here and then unpause when you're done reading it. And then this is the other side. So what I have to do is there's a bottle of this lime dip stuff and I have to mix this with one gallon of water and they get this every or like ever twice a week for I'm not sure until for how long just until they say not to I think for two weeks and then also have to give them some like medicine like oral antibiotics or I'm not sure what it is. It's just for like some sort of oral medicine. And that is all. And I have to keep them like completely in a, away from pets and small children, so my siblings and stuff. And I have to wear gloves and then in between each. Um, whenever I'm just with them, I have to wear a certain pair of like clothing. I'm going to dedicate just for them and then wash that every day. And I have to wash their stuff every day, sanitize every day. And I'm going to be keeping them in my downstairs bathroom because I have a big like, kind of like walk-in shower. Not really walk-in shower. It's just like a glass shower so the door can close. It's kind of like a dog, like a dog crate or like a pet cage, sort of. So I can just close that and then stay in there. And then every day I can like wash it all out. So I feel like that'd be easy to sanitize, especially since I have carpet in my room. I haven't got to meet the kittens yet just because I'm in the car. And I haven't gotten home yet. And I don't want to like open it up and risk me touching them with my bare hands. So... Okay guys, so I am dedicated this hair tie for my hair. So when I'm in here, I'll put this on. I have this long sleeve shirt and these. I'll be just washing every evening. And then for the setup, so I have this shower. So that's a litter box and toys. I'm only using toys that I can fully sanitize. Like not any like soft plush toys or anything like that. That cannot be sanitized. And then I have food and water. So then this is where they will be staying the majority of the time. Just places like that. And then I put up a baby gate here, so this is where I'll be caring for them. I have their scale, this stuff has little collars I made, extra litter box, I have the gloves, litter, and the extra toys. The kittens are right here, so I have like a little baby gate, so this is their whole area. And they will not be going in this area at all. So I'm going to go ahead and bring them over here and start beating them. So I got the gloves on, and now I'm going to prompt the camera and start beating the kittens. I do have an app that I'm going to be using to track all their weights and stuff. But right now I'm just gonna write down just like the purpose of filming so I can still film. So I'm gonna pop a little scale. Okay, so I have some name ideas here. So then I'll just go ahead and name them as I go. So let's make them. Hi, oh my goodness. You babies are cute. Okay, who should we start with first? So there are four orange ones and then like a tabby calico. They all have pretty blue eyes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do you want to come first? So 
this is the first kitten. Okay. Hi, nice to meet you, baby. Okay. Close this box up. Okay. So let's see if it's a boy or girl. It is a 100%, but I believe a girl. So this baby is a little girl. So I'm just gonna put a little collar on it just so I can tell her apart. Let's put this cute pink one on. Okay. Since I'm not naming them quite yet, you guys have gotta stay tuned for the name reveal. I'm just going to be, oh, this collar just broke. Whoops, okay. Let's go with the tie-dye one. They really don't have any like loss of fur or anything, like a lot of ringworm and kittens have, which is like a good thing. Okay, so this is going to be, I'm calling this one just tie-dye until we come up with the name. Tie-dye, okay. And it's a female. Orange, okay. So they feel like pretty solid, so that's a good thing, kind of if they're healthy. They are, one pound, 12 ounces. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one just in there. We're gonna close the door. It's a little loud for them, so be gentle. Okay. Let's move on to the next can. Hi. Okay, let's grab this one. Right here. Oh, this one has extremely beautiful coloring. Like, look at that. That's really pretty. Okay. Let's close up the box. The other thing is going get out. Okay. And this one is a, I think, um, let's see. That is a male. Okay. Let's put this one on. I'm gonna double check the other kitten's gender just to be sure in a minute because this one looked like a female at first and then I realized it was a male because I turned it over. So, yeah. Oh, this glove just ripped. Um, I'm gonna have to put on a new glove because otherwise I can get ringworm right there. So, yeah, this, will, this one is going to be yellow is what it's name is going to be for now. And that is my dog barking in the background. And this is a male orange. Okay, let's go ahead and weigh him. Okay. This kitten is one pound, nine ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in and then check the other kitten's gender. One more time. Can we speak girl or boy? I think it's a girl. Let's check it again. Yeah, female. Okay, so so far we have one girl and one boy. And they're both orange so far. Let's go ahead and see the next kitten. Who wants to go next? Let's do this one. I believe this one is going to be a female since it does have some calico, but like extremely beautiful coloring. Like, look at that. It's so beautiful. This one is a, yep, female. Let's go ahead and give this one this collar. Hi, sweet girl. So, so far we have two girls and one boy. So gentle and sweet. They're definitely a little scared, but at least they're not scratching me up. Okay, so this one is red. It's going to be its name for now. Red and then female. Okay, let's go ahead and weigh you, sweet girl. Okay. One pound thirteen ounces. Alright. And this one is calico. So like a calico and like a tabby. 
so you can tell. Okay. Put your sweet girl in there. Okay, let's see the last song. I'm curious if it's a girl or a boy. Hi. I kind of think a boy, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Yep, it's a boy. Let's put this one on. So this is going to be orange for now. It's going to be his name until I come up with real names and do a name reveal. Alrighty. One pound, 12 ounces. Alrighty. So this one is orange, male, and the color of him is orange. And then he is 12, or one point, one pound, 12 ounces. Okay. They're all about one and a half pounds. They're almost two pounds, some of them. So that's good. Okay. So put them up. All right, guys. So I don't really want to be touching my camera too much to like move it because you know like germs or whatever. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think their names are. And yeah, stay tuned for the name reveal. Bye.